what's up this is jeremiah james i have got a guitar lesson here for you on born and raised by john mayer this song came out in 2012 i actually still remember when i was in my dorm back at cu boulder in 2012 and i was always a huge john mayer fan so i was waiting for his album to come out and when i heard the song i thought it was a little country and bluesy compared to what he had previously produced but looking back at it now i love this album and it's a classic and uh, as soon as one of my subscribers asked me to do this song, I went back and decided it was a good time to do it. I'm still in Colorado here, so I've got my knockoff sunlight guitar, and I'm back at home. I'm where I was born and raised, so no better place to do a tutorial for a song called Born and Raised by the legend himself, John Mayer. Alright, so we're in standard tuning. There's no capo. The four chords we need to know are a G chord, a B minor chord, a C chord, and an F chord. If you can't play bar chords for that B minor, we'll talk about how you can play it slightly differently, but you can also use a D chord to substitute for that B minor. So for the verse, the chord progression is G to B minor to F to C. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna strum our G chord. Play an open B, put our index finger on the first fret of the B, play that note, and then open B again. So we've got this G. Then we're going to play either our B minor or our bar, our D chord. So that's what it sounds like with this B minor chord. And what I'm doing is I'm playing this B minor and I'm lifting up my index finger here so this high E string is an open E and I'm playing the B string, high E string, back to the B string. Okay, so that goes. And if you play that with a D chord instead, that would sound like this. It sounds a little funky, but if you're playing along with the song, it's pretty close. Most of the notes that are in a D chord are also in a B minor chord, so it's it's not too far off to play the D chord instead if you are a beginner. From there we're going to go to our F open chord. We're going to strum that. We're going to play our index on that first fret of the B. And you can put either your pinky or your ring finger up to the third fret of the B string. And then take it off and play back on your first fret. So that F goes like this. And then from there, we're going to our C chord. And you can either strum out that C chord, or you can leave your middle finger off and hammer on. And he hammer on twice in there. So right before they start back into the verse, there's also this lick that starts up. And the beginning of that sounds like this. So that is sliding from your second fret. You slide from your second fret up to your fourth, back to your second fret, open. Then you're gonna play an open D, and that's all on your G string. So you start on your G string, second fret, slide to the fourth, second fret, open G, open D, and then back to the verse. Let's walk through all this again. Let's go nice and slow. So we've got our G chord, strum down once, open B, first fret of the B, open B. Now you can play either your B minor or your D. Strum once, pick your B, high E string, B string, F chord, open F chord, strum that. Now we're gonna pick our B on the first fret, third fret, first fret, and then we're going to go to our C chord, hammer on. And then if you'd like, you can sneak in this little um, riff here at the end.
jump out of that C chord in the verse, you can transition to the chorus, which goes like this. but you are going to need an E minor chord. Uh, it's a pretty basic chord, but I will put the chord chart up here for this. Um, so our progression is going E minor, G, C, C with a little variation, E minor, G, C. Okay, so that strumming pattern is like this. So that's it for the verse and the chorus. There is one more part, and that's the part where it's like la da 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 da. The chords I'm playing are a C chord, and then we're playing the C sus two, where you'll drop your middle finger and you'll add your pinky here at the third fret of the high E, and then an A minor seven, which is the same as an A minor chord, but you're just dropping your ring finger to play this open G in here. Drumming is just down, 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 down. So it's C, C sus two, A minor seven. to it. All right, so that's going to be it for this lesson. Hopefully you now know how to play Born and Raised by John Mayer. I do love John Mayer and his old music especially, so if there's any songs out there that you'd like to hear which old tutorials haven't done justice, go ahead and comment below and I'll see what I can do. Stay tuned for more tutorials from me. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you. Give me a thumbs down if it did not help you and let me know why in the comments. And then also stay tuned for more original music from me. Thank you for watching.